On March 22nd, the Minaret's return plan will begin. This plan will be based on a hybrid block schedule that will allow for all students to be on campus two days per week, one even and one odd. This will require us to split the students between A through K and M through Z, with some exceptions. There will be a 15 to 16 student maximum in each of the classes. Students A through K will come on Tuesday and Wednesday. Students L through Z will come on Thursday and Friday. And all students will be distance learning on Mondays. Students that are not on campus will have an asynchronous activity for the classes that they miss. On Mondays, all students will be in a WebEx, whether even or odd day, like the current model. When they come in person, whatever their assigned day is, they will have a full direct instruction lesson given to them from their teacher in their classrooms. On the days that they're not here, they'll give, be given an asynchronous assignment that has been gone over in the class and they've been given direction on for whatever day they're out. <clears throat> Attendance will be taken for all of these, so it's important that students must be engaged in the lessons and present when they're supposed to be. When students transition about around campus, there's a strict set of guidelines to make sure that the halls are not crowded. For example, in the 600 building and in the 300 building, there's a one-way exit and one-way entrance, and students will be released one class at a time in each, and they'll go around campus in a clockwise manner. Our teachers have been trained on this, and they'll walk students through that. We will go through this with students. We'll use the first couple days as training, but we'll also be showing them some videos in classes. Entering 300 and 600 is only uh, one direction, like I said, um, and the flow will all go in the same manner, and that includes the shop classrooms and the gym up top. Each class is five minutes longer than it's traditionally been to allow for this transition and to allow us to release one by one and make sure our hallways are not crowded to maintain social distancing. Um, due to the fast structure nature of uh, passing period, teachers will not be taking breaks during the breaks uh, and, and using the restroom nor will the students. That will be during the classroom as needed. That is to ensure that we don't have wanderers and drifters between classes and we can keep the steady flow going and safe. So they will be released in that order. Students will be uh, briefed on this. They'll be coached on this. We'll go over this over and over. And we'll all have plenty of directions and plenty of people around to facilitate this. Um, the stairs in the middle of the hallways of the buildings will be locked because we want a one-way pattern. So as you can see on the map here, uh, it is a clockwise format. In some cases, if a student is on one end of the 600 building and um, they're going, it's supposed to go backwards, so if they're in room 601 at the end of the hall, they do still have to walk in that clockwise format. It gives them a little bit of exercise, a little bit of air, and it also clears the hallway so we're not all congested. And as you can see here, we'll have supervision guiding the students and guiding the process throughout the campus um, for the transitions. When it comes to monitoring and accountability, there will be people at all times throughout the campus monitoring the flow, making sure students stay in classes, making sure students have masks on and they're properly uh, distanced. This will be a combination of administrators from Minarets and Chiwanaki Academy, the counselors and security personnel, as well as some classified staff. For lunch, uh, similar to passing period, students will be released one class at a time. And there are designated areas throughout the campus uh, that will be clearly marked for students to have lunch, socially distanced and safe outside. Uh, we have a lot of canopies. We have a lot of table seating. Um, all students will have lunch at the same time, but seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen will be announcing when they can come up to the window if they're buying a school lunch. So that'll be staggered. If there is rain, we do have a rain plan that has more than enough seating for students on any given day. For drop-off and pickup, we want it to be an easy, smooth flow with strict timelines. So we are asking all students to be dropped off no earlier than 8.30. 8.30, no earlier. When they get dropped off at 8.30, they will go straight to class. 
and they will begin their first period on time. Students who, who will eat breakfast have 10 minutes in a designated area to pick up their breakfast, eat it, and head to class in a timely manner. Uh, so we have this all designated off for drop-off and pickup. We'll have clearly uh, marked signs for all. You can see for drop-off and pickup, there's a bus loading. There's an 11th and 12th, 10th, and a 9th. And there will be no parking in those stalls to make sure that we have clear lanes open. And all students who drive will be parking in the student drive uh, uh, park in lot out by the stadium. And they'll all walk in that way. So there'll be pl people placed outside there. It's going to be much different than the regular pickup and drop off that we're accustomed to. A lot more structured and a lot more spread out to allow for social distancing and smooth transition to the classroom. All students will be masked at all times except when they're eating lunch. All students will perform a self-screening in student square or parents can do it in parent square before they arrive. And in first and second period, we'll make sure that students have done that. Following each class, students will wipe down their area with a wet wipe that will be provided to them. All students will remain socially distanced the entire class. Students will be able to go to the bathroom after the first 10 minutes and before the last 10 minutes of class. Students will also will be in class um, the only in the classes they're scheduled for. A hand sanitizing station will be placed throughout. Students will not share food and water and all club activities will be uh, prepared um, appropriately. Anyone directly exposed to COVID must stay home for seven days with a negative uh, test result or come back in 10 days. All students with a positive test result will quarantine for 14 days and we will uh, contact Trace and uh, there's a good possibility that uh, the classes that that student is in will have to be placed on quarantine and we'll have to set that structure up. Um, so more on that later, that process, if that comes up. Freshmen, um, they're going to have a specific video overview and we're going to spend some time in Minaret C's and other classes supporting them to make sure that their transition to campus uh, is done smoothly and done well. Um, there's some FAQs on this plan that's been shared with you. Some of them pertain to the teaching staff. Um, and we're going to continue to uh, make updates and changes, not changes, but updates, enhance the plan, keep everybody informed. The good news is that there's plenty of staff on campus coaching the kids up, coaching the parents up, making sure that things are safe. Uh, the big things are just to watch those daily guidelines, to self-screen, to make sure you're not having any symptoms, to, if you have symptoms, get tested or stay home, tested and stayed home. Um, always wear a mask, always social distance. Uh, these are really important things, and uh, um, some people have varying degrees of, of how they implement these things, but the big thing is we want kids back in school, back on campus. So following these guidelines that have been laid out for us helps us to accomplish that um, a lot easier, helps us to stay in place, helps our kids learning. So we appreciate your support. Uh, you could check out this plan. Uh, at your own pace, look through it. Uh, if you have questions, you can always reach out, but we will be sending updates throughout the week and ongoing as our kids return to school. Thank you uh, for all your feedback. Thank you for sharing your concerns and also your positive feedbacks. We're excited to get kids back on campus. Um, go big, go pro, go now, and go Mustangs.